Rhea Warriors applies Pierce to itself, deals massive special damage to one enemy, and removes Pierce from itself. Whoa, guys, can you imagine doing this move against Londrad? His area dodge is not gonna come in handy in this situation. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yaman Scholar and in this channel, I'll tell you how to take your monsters from level 0 to level hero. And right now in front of me, I have the next maze monster skill set. Now what you have to keep in mind is we do not have the trait yet, nor do we have the relic spots of this monster. And we do not have the stats as well. So this is all we have for right now. And this is my mini analysis slash review on this monster. Now I have gone over the skills of this monster previously. And this monster is an attacker. So right off the bat I can tell you the runes that will be required for this monster. This monster will probably have two strength runes and one speed rune or one team speed. You can substitute it depending on the situation. Okay, so first of all, we have some weaker moves that are the default skills and then we progress onto the moves and they get better. So I'll be taking very little time explaining the default moves and some of the moves that are not that great. And then I'll be talking about the more powerful moves and how to use them and how this monster will be applied in the current meta. So without wasting any more time, I'd like you all to please pause this video for just one second and click on that like button and subscribe button. And if you do not like the video, by the end of this video, I don't mind even if you click on the dislike button because that will tell me that I need to do better. Okay, so now that you have done that, we'll just go to the skills very, very quickly. First of all, we have Tell the Weak He's Strong, deals heavy earth damage to one enemy. This is just the default skill, nothing too great about this. Moving on, he'll become the strongest, deals low earth damage to all enemies. Again, this is just a default skill as well. That is what the monster has once you get him hatched. Then we have come back with the sword, deals moderate earth damage to all enemies, applies quicksand to all enemies, requires cooldown. Now I certainly do like this move simply because this deals moderate earth damage and also applies dot, that is quicksand, that will drain about 15 to 20 percent or 10 to 15 percent of the enemy's life. I do not have the exact values in my mind and this will also deal moderate earth damage. If you have high strength runes on this monster, this moderate earth damage can deal quite a bit of damage if you have this monster ranked up and obviously if you have those runes equipped on him. Then we have don't refuse this offer, applies protect positive effects to itself, applies a damage boost to itself, requires cooldown. So this move I think is like not very useful in my opinion. Maybe it can come in handy with certain combos in certain situations but it is very situation specific and this also applies a few percent damage boost which I don't think is that necessary. If it applied double or triple damage maybe I'd be more inclined to, to run this move but right now this move does not impress me at all. Then we have the lead of the world, it deals moderate earth damage to all enemies, applies days to all enemies, requires cooldown. Now I do prefer this move, the lead of the world, over come back with the sword, simply because it applies days that reduces the accuracy of the enemy monsters and also applies moderate earth damage. That is also the case with come back with sword, but it deals a dot. So you can switch this up depending on the situation. If you have monsters that are immune to quicksand or are immune to days, you can just switch these moves around. But personally, I would prefer running the AOE days as compared to the quicksand because of the reduction in accuracy. Then we have Londrad has a problem. I for one definitely agree with that move. Deals heavy earth damage to one enemy, applies stun to one enemy, applies days to one enemy, requires cooldown. Now again this is a very very good move. It deals heavy earth damage. What more could you ask for? And it also applies stun and days on top of that so yeah definitely definitely run this move then we have the move the force is with us deals heavy earth damage to all enemies requires cooldown this is nothing just a heavy earth damage that will deal a good amount of damage to the enemy team and will hopefully help you KO the enemy team the best move of this monster that I showed you at the beginning of the video is we are warriors applies pierce to itself deals massive special damage to one enemy removes pierce from itself now pierce is a very very good positive effect to have on yourself simply because pierce counters megaton it counters taunt and this has an endless number of possibilities you can run this move against teams that have a torn monster setup like for example the one that comes into mind very very quickly is armor claw and then we have an area dodge monster like wicker or like rim lad most probably and they protect the rim lad through their armor claw which is quite a nuisance in my opinion so you can just apply pierce to itself and completely annihilate the rim lad on the opposing team without having to go through that armor claw pierce is one of the better effects in the game in my opinion and yeah this is definitely the move to run then we have the special which is a dinner in hell applies pierce to itself deals heavy earth damage to all enemies applies stun to all enemies removes pierce to itself phenomenal phenomenal special especially with the pierce and the stun as well 
definitely if you get this do run this obviously then we have what skills i would recommend to you guys obviously we have to run we are the warriors that spears is everything and if this monster gains spears at any level of the trait i don't know the trait right now but if you guys know and this monster has spears as a trait definitely definitely rank up this monster then we have after we are the warriors i choose a forces with us that deals heavy earth damage to all enemies then obviously lawn rat has a problem that is the single stun with the days and heavy earth damage then i would run the lead of the world or the come back with the sword that is either a dot or days i would prefer days over dot so that's just me but you can run either depending on the situation so that basically concludes my video on vastis i hope you liked it remember this is the maze monster and you'll be able to get this for free in two days uh, from the limited time path so be sure to collect all of those maze coins in the initial days and have 4000 maze coins ready for 160 cells around 4200 if i'm being exact and yeah do not forget to click on that like button subscribe button even if you dislike this video please click on the dislike button and mention down in the comments i'd love to be in touch with you guys so be sure to comment and let me know what i could do better i know you guys have asked me to do more game related videos as in you can see me playing the game i'm trying to make those videos but i'm too impatient to make those sort of videos so i'm trying my level best i'm collecting some of those tokens and i'm planning on doing some live tools or something along those lines so yeah that's it for the video see you in the next one peace out